didn't want to see the words in God We Trust displayed in Government Plaza. One is a self-proclaimed Tea Party activist, the other a Baldwin County man who came to Mobile to ask the city council to display the national motto. Fox News reporter Letitia Bush went out to get reaction from you. In God We Trust, it's already written on your money, but what do you think about it being written on a county building for public display? That's a hot topic here at Government Plaza. It doesn't bother me any because I have it in my pocket. I don't think it should be written on the county walls. It shouldn't be even, it shouldn't even be on the dollar bill. Don't say in God We Trust and then one minute you, you're going against God. Just as a political, traditional principle, I think, I think it's fine. John Butler of Baldwin County is passionate about the national motto, in God We Trust uh, has been on our pointage uh, since uh, the Civil War. He asked Pete Ream, a Tea Party activist, to join his mission. The goal? A public display of the words, In God We Trust, in city council chambers. We live in a beautiful city. We've been blessed many times over. And the best way to continue those blessings is acknowledge the one who made it possible. And I think that's all we're asking for. The men asked the city council to support their cause, but since the county owns Government Plaza, they were told they need to ask the county commission. They plan on doing that next. What would you say to people who feel like, okay, there needs to be a boundary, there needs to be a line that's strong with religion or with God? This has nothing to do with the religion. It's our national motto. That's what I would say to them. Butler says he has seen some success in Baldwin County with places like Silver Hill and Orange Beach agreeing to display the motto. He plans on taking his message across the state. Reporting in Mobile, Letitia Bush, Fox 10 News. The Mobile City Council is considering a new litter ordinance. That was the second topic on the agenda at today's public safety meeting. Fox 10 News reporter Renee Diles joins us with the 